Hi kids, it's English time again with your mom Laylin. Learning becomes more exciting. Our objectives for today's lesson, you are expected to demonstrate understanding of the text elements to comprehend various text types and identify the author's purpose in writing a text. Kids, we are going to learn about structure, purpose, and language features of different text types. Text type refers to the classification and definition of the way a text is written such as its structure, purpose, and language features. Text types are categorized as to factual and literary. Factual texts aim to inform, instruct, or persuade through the use of facts and information. We have here the example of factual text. First, news reports. Another one, speech. Next, we have recount. One example is a diary entry. Historical documents are also example of factual text. Another factual text is procedural or instructional text. These are text that teaches the readers the procedures how to make something. Persuasive text is also an example of factual text, a type of non-fiction writing used to convince the reader to agree with the author about an issue. Now, let us talk about literary texts. Literary texts are texts that are narrative or tell a story and contain elements of fiction. One example of a narrative text is novel. Have you read about Harry Potter and the Dark Knight? Fable is also an example of a narrative text. Do you know the story about the monkey and the chicken? Another example are the short stories. Do you know the story about the lion and the mouse? The last one is poetry. An example, Trees by Joyce Kilmer. Writers chose appropriate text types to match their purpose of writing. Text types have three main purposes, to entertain, to inform, or to persuade. Now, let us talk about text structure. Text structure refers to how the information within a written text is organized. Text types are formed in structured ways. These structures are as follows. Description, sequence, instruction or process, cause and effect, compare or contrast, problem or solution. Description describes a person, place, event, and animal. Sequence, instruction, process, provides steps in performing an action or order of event. Next is the cause and effect. Seeks to identify what happened and how or why it happened. Compare or contrast, provides similar and or dissimilar information about two persons, places, event, and animals. We use Venn diagram to show the similarities and dissimilarities of information. And the last, problem or solution, states the problem and the possible solution. Did you understand our lesson, children? Very good! This time, we will answer some activities. Are you ready?
you go again, children. You've got new learnings today. Congratulations, you did a great job. Once again, I am your mom, Leyland, saying, Learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts, never fears, and never regrets. Have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye!